what what is one altcoin you're you're super bullish on that you're looking at right now? You know, I I took a look at near protocol. Okay, so you know, on a, is it near all time highs? <laughs> uh, no, it is not. It's the bigger the base, the higher into space, right? It's just it's been dead since like April of last year, right? There was a DeMarc 13 top, okay, which sent it into a range. Okay. So if I take the DeMarc work off just for a second, the DeMarc Elliott wave is pretty simple, right? The zero is where the move starts. One, two, this decline, right? Came right, you know, right to that old prior low. So this looks like higher lows. And if you have one, two, and then you should have a three wave, which should mean a new high. I, I mean, just on a trading basis. Okay. And the new high based on the DeMarc work, right? The, the sort of blow off top, the minimum would be $3. Now, you know, I know you can look at this and be like, okay, well, that's nice. But then if you look at it this way, I mean, do, do you need a TA book to know that this could be the bigger the base, the higher in the space, right? Dude, I so love that phrase. Right? I, I, I mean, love that too. I'm taking that. I'm stealing it. <laughs> right. I mean, in 2019, we, you know, I was on a Sunday live stream every, you know, this is just, we just, what ETH did at 300, right? The longer, you know, yeah, it's hard true. to find something that's actually been dead since say April or June, stuff that never recovered from even Celsius, right? You know, sometimes there were these rallies. You, you look at this, you know, I won't take up much airtime, <laughs> right? What happens if Web3 goes from cringy, first it was fashionable, then it was cringy, and then what happens if people who are not necessarily fully crypto native go, I need exposure to large cap crypto because I got to get out of stable coins. Dude, say it one more time. Say it one more time. The bigger the base, the higher into space. Let's go. Let's go. That's Bill, you're going to make be... me FOMO into near right now. I feel like buying <laughs> it right now. Jeez. I mean, the, the, the trick is you got to find stuff that is in this basing setup, and then you got to find stuff that goes up and then comes back down to a support point that's not inherently obvious to everybody. You know, Frankie had the, the volume gaps, you know, like my experience with that is markets love to attack super low volume and super high volume, right? You know, it's, it's just a question of saying, use it in research, you get paid for imagination, right? So start imagining where these things can go. And like I said, the second Bitcoin stalls out, this stuff's going to be gone, right? That's, you can't sleep on this market. You can't, Dude, right? We got a solar storm coming up tonight. Solar storms normally create anxiety for people. So the little astronomy action. So if this market doesn't bye, go bye, down, bye, bye, bye. right off like an anxiety period, perhaps the anxiety is fear of missing out. Ooh, okay. I like it. I so like it. If everybody gets hit with, oh, I don't have enough crypto. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, there's not enough liquidity. Well, thanks to Gary, there is now. Dude, now. once again, that's a great point. 